Hi hey friends, um, I wanted to look at the traffic situation specifically in Mumbai, India, uh, and in, in India in general, um, but let's take a look. So on Google Maps, you might want to search for traffic, and you can type in that all right there um, to see um, what the traffic situation is, and it will take you to that region. Um, and then you can also do satellite view, which I have here showing our, uh, you can do different types of views, uh, transit view and other ways as well. But down at the bottom, you'll see a typical traffic or live traffic, and that will be very different. So you probably want to do typical traffic if you're doing a research study on it. Um, and then you can do like daytime. It'll usually do Monday, which is the worst day typically. Um, and then you'll have to like zoom through and you'll see that it actually goes quite late, the traffic. Um, you can see uh, 6.30 p.m., uh, 7 p.m. even is worse um, and so on. So you might want to look at a couple different uh, options to see where the worst traffic is. Um, but basically the getting home traffic is worse than the getting to work traffic. Uh, so what I did is I highlighted, now they actually drive on the left side of the road, so that means they're driving to work on this side. So you can see that basically where the traffic jams are, it's right in downtown here, um, and it starts right back here. So basically um, it's faster. Um, they're actually, they actually do improve the traffic right near here, but a lot of people are getting off right in here in this region, um, and then it speeds up again, and then it goes slower again down in here. So, um, but basically the commute could be pretty far, um, upwards of five to 10 miles of traffic, um, which is pretty significant, but even in the United States, you can get 30 miles of traffic. So like in Chicago, I've seen traffic jams that can go, um, you know, this is this is maybe 10 miles here. I think yeah, that's about 10 miles. Um, but 30 miles could be like all the way back to here and in Los Angeles and uh, even New York can be even worse. So it's kind of mysterious um, why the pollution is so bad in India, uh, particularly air quality. Um, but uh, this is Mumbai. It's actually not so bad because it's right on the ocean front. Um, so there's a lot of fresh air coming in off the ocean. But some interesting things that surprised me is that uh, Mumbai, India, so Basically, Mumbai is over here, right? Um, and then they're creating what's called a new new Mumbai or Navi Mumbai. So I'll put this up here so you can kind of see. It's hard to, uh, I'm gonna move this around a little bit so you can see Mumbai, India. But basically this whole peninsula is Mumbai, but this Navi Mumbai is called New Mumbai. Um, and it's basically right in here um, that they're trying to work on. So some interesting intersections are basically this intersection up here and this intersection up here. You can't really see the details unless you look at the population map why those areas are super important. Let me merge down some of this so you can see. So this is Navi Mumbai. Well, really this portion right in here is what they call Navi Mumbai because it's also oceanfront. Um, but basically it's divided into two major sections. So this lower section is generally more considered Navi Mumbai, but this is more suburban Mumbai. And it also goes along this river here. And this river system actually splits in two here, making uh, Mumbai kind of an island in itself, uh, similar to New York City, um, but actually quite uh, larger than Manhattan Island. So um, this is pretty large island in general. Now, again, the road situation, you can kind of see there's a high-speed road. The red roads are high-speed roads. Um, these ones with white on the outside are actually train routes. So there's actually a train route that goes all the way in here. Um, and these are very important. And then the blue routes are also uh, train routes as well. Um, so the roads are actually this orange ones here and then this light yellow. Um, but you can see the complexity actually over here in Navi, Mumbai. Um, of the road system is actually starting to get quite complicated as well as down in here. Um, and then this road actually seems pretty good almost all the time. So you can see this is um, this is getting home from work. This road looks pretty good here. Um, and then also it looks pretty good here. So the main problem is a lot of people trying to get up into here, into this region and up into here. So these regions right in here are pretty much where a lot of the new, there's a lot of housing being built here. It's also near the airport. Uh, and some other things, airports actually kind of quite far outside of downtown. Well, not too far, maybe five five miles, that's not so bad. So, um, but you can kind of see it vaguely in the 
in the horizon here. So I'll give you another perspective of Mumbai. I basically turned it, so we basically were looking at, like this was the original claw that you see. So we turn it, we can start to see some more details here. Um, here's the airport, and then you can see kind of Navi Mumbai and the whole Mumbai Bay uh, in here, and then that rural river system that headed out to that other town. Uh, but basically it gives you a great perspective of what's going on. So a lot of people, a lot of the beaches are actually over here in Juhu Beach. Um, so basically they just recently built this whole uh, front. Uh, it's like a, uh, what is it called? This uh, flyover bridge. Um, so it's basically a huge um, addition to get right in downtown because a lot of people were living basically over here in Juhu Beach region right next to the airport. Here's the airport, of course. Um, and actually, if you do zoom in here, you can see some of the details. Let's see if I can get some of those details for you. Um, you can see some of the mapping. It will start to load in some streets that we didn't quite see before. Um, and this is evening, evening, evening traffic, right? So you can kind of see it. it's not really tracked down into here, but um, there's quite a lot of traffic now. So the evening traffic again is on the left-hand side. So it's a left hand here, um, all trying to get out of the city. And you can see as we try to leave the city here, what's going on with that traffic. And you can see this bridge here kind of really is slow. So a lot of people, I think this is a paid bridge, but there's still a lot of traffic along this road here, which is not a major uh, highway at all. I think I got that map here. So you can see some of these red zones. So this is actually a train. There's a train line that runs right along there as well. But again, this can be super interesting to look at the whole uh, traffic system. You do have to zoom in quite detailed to see the details. And you can see it's pretty much bad both ways. So you're not, you shouldn't expect to be moving too fast on any of these lines. Now you can see the train line here on these little blue things coming all the way in. There's quite a number of stops, so it's also going to stop quite frequently uh, on the way out of the city. So even if you're doing the train, there may be some express trains that you can take um, that will be faster. But here you can see this line coming a little bit separate here. Let me even see if I can get just the transit map on here. So this will be maybe just the transit map. Um, so yeah, it shows a little bit weird. Uh, I think this is maybe bus lanes too. Sorry about that. Um, but uh, the map, and let me see if I can get back to satellite view. So yeah, here's the satellite view, and then we just want the traffic map here, so we can look at the traffic. Now interesting, I don't know if you just noticed that, it actually changed to live traffic. So this is really late at night, because I'm in daytime now, and this is like, you know, so if it's uh, 10 a.m. here, this is 10 p.m. And you still see a lot of traffic trying to get out of the city um, on the live traffic view. So that can be helpful, typical traffic, Let's go back to 10 p.m. just to see what that looked like. So it was kind of interesting, 10 p.m. So actually, we're doing quite good right now on the 10 p.m. side. There's actually still quite a lot of traffic. So in general, the traffic is definitely biased towards the afternoon traffic. You can see the morning traffic, it's actually pretty good. Um, right at like, say, 6 o'clock in the morning, there's nothing out there. And that happens in almost every city but then once you start to get to nine o'clock you start backing up and it's all on the left hand side again so you can see here so let's just zoom in and see where that little blockage is so you can see it's right here right near the airport uh, that's kind of the blockage on that side here uh, and, uh, and that's kind of where it even goes a little bit further so it's a little bit actually maybe to this point so this intersection here after this intersection is on ramp university of mumbai so it looks like right in there, there's maybe some traffic uh, that's kind of uh, really slowing some things down there. Now let's just see if there's anything else that we can see on the main maps that you might be interested in. So a couple little blockages on these regions, and you can see that the, definitely on the afternoon traffic becomes much more complex, especially in the suburbs. Um, you can see that this is actually probably be a nightmare to drive in. Um, so there's probably some driving maybe to and from uh, different points in Mumbai uh, that get pretty bad traffic. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this study, but in general, you can see there's two main arms going out of the city. There's one that goes this way, and then one goes up here. This is basically a Juhu Beach branch, um, and then there's so there's a lot of beach traffic here, um, and then there's a lot of other suburban traffic heading out into this region here. So this region really needs help with work and actually having, so you don't have to commute all the way into Mumbai, even though that is only about... 
uh, you know, 20 miles, it still it could be a nightmare on 20 miles. That can take you hours of traffic. So, again, I hope you enjoyed this study. If you're looking to work on any kind of project in Mumbai, please let me know. I'd be happy to try to help you out and see what I could do to help you. Um, thank you so much. Ciao.